What's up, YouTube? Hello, guys, and I am back with another video. It's your girl, Amaria, in case you don't know. Let's like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me your favorite color, guys. How are you doing today? Okay? Listen, it is October 16th. I'm still doing Vlogtober, y'all. Um, at the end of the day, we're realistic. How have you guys been feeling? Um, I've been exhausted. I've been tired. I've been trying to make myself feel better. I've been cleaning up. Um, it's helped a lot, honestly, just making sure that everything is clean. It's helped with my mood and stuff. Um, but it's been tough. Like, comment down below how y'all been feeling, for real. Um, but definitely, you saw that title, all right? Um, we're gonna be talking about working from home with a toddler. It is not impossible. It can be a little challenging. More than a little, it can be, it can be challenging, but it is doable, okay, because at the end of the day, moms need money, and we don't always have somebody to watch our kids, and we don't always want somebody to watch our kids, so definitely stay tuned for this video. Um, In all of my tip videos, guys, check out those, because I, I some tips are repeated in the videos, but there's a lot of information that I didn't put in other videos in one video, so just check them out, you know, they're only like five minutes long, not even ten minutes, so definitely do that um yeah let's get to this video working from home with a toddler i say this in every work from home tip video but it is so true when you work from home with a toddler it is very important to eat at any moment that you have available because if you go the day without eating you're not going to have energy to do the stuff that you need to do so make sure you are eating as you go throughout your day um periodically okay because my mom gotta starve I'm not about to. To be honest, um, I'm not really all that childlike or playful. Um, I ain't really have like a playful childhood, but I do make sure that I always get my kids educational toys. That definitely helps with the time, especially when I'm working and you know they need something to occupy their time. I don't just give them a tablet because that's kind of boring. Just huh. so I give them sensory things, you know, like activity tables, things they can push buttons on, click on, do a whole bunch of stuff with. And honestly, I've seen that help a lot. I was, I'm in, um, I made sure that I got um, these two cute, like little area rugs for their rooms. I might insert the pictures actually. Um, but there's an, I got two area rugs for their room that one has the numbers on it and the one has the ABCs. So sometimes they like go and they look at the ABCs on there. But also I hang the ABCs, their colors, shapes sometimes on their walls so that they can see it, um, you know, periodically, periodically throughout the day. You know, sometimes when you have, when you do be having um, cocoa melon and stuff like that playing for the kids, it's good to actually have some of the things that the cocoa melon people be talking about, having that, you know, visually in front of the, your kids. So if they say apple or orange, your, your kid can go pick up a toy apple or orange and be like, oh, this is what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Um, just certain things that, you know, is really good for the development. Like I said, um, not everybody's the same. My parenting is different because like I said, I didn't have like much of a childhood, childhood. So when it comes to like being playful and um, that whole aspect, it's not really, you know, something that I'm very good at. But like I said, I'm a great teacher. I get them all the educational stuff. They have all the stuff that they want. Um, yeah. So definitely guys, you, if even if, no matter what, don't ever let nobody make you feel like your style of parenting is a problem. As long as you, you know what I'm saying, I'm talking about like the, your style, not the, you know what I'm saying, whether or not you're parenting, because uh, we're not going to go there. But at the end of the day, as long as the babies are okay, the babies are fed, the babies are changed, the babies are entertained, you're doing good, okay? You're doing, you're a great parent. Um, It's okay if you're not playful. It's okay if you're not, you don't really know what to do in certain areas. Because, you know, um... Yeah, like certain things, people who know me know me and understand that um, I'm not really, I've never really been all that in like, you know, kind of like playful or, you know, um, what's the word? Childlike person. I'm going to use childlike because I don't know another word to use for it. But yeah, honestly, um, it can, it, I be feeling some type of way sometimes about it, but when it comes down to it, I know that my work ethic is really good. And as long as I'm working and making sure the kids are good and they got everything that they need, I'm good. All right. So don't ever discount what you have going on or what you're doing because you're doing great. Okay. 
stay tuned got more tips for you it's always good to make sure you have easy snacks um i use the smuckers um the peanut butter and jelly smuckers and i give that to the kids in the mornings if i have to work and i have to be quick um they just hold it and eat them you know super easy uh i don't recommend capri suns too much because they're kind of sugary but get the kids like a little tumbler or a kid's cup that you can put water in um or sometimes juice milk things like that um, they're super easy to clean um, and very helpful, especially when you're working. You want to make sure the kids can, you know, periodically get something to drink, do what they need to do while you're working, okay? Because even though you can't check on them every two hours, like between your breaks when you're working from home, it is always good to make sure that throughout that two hours, they're not messing stuff up because a lot can happen in two hours and your whole house can be destroyed, like destroyed. I just cleaned this, this place yesterday. Their room is a mess, <laughs> So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it today. I'm not, I'm just take care of it tomorrow, you know. Snacks are going to be a very important part of your day, okay? Because you need to make sure that the kids are able to eat while you're working. Because like I said, you get 15 minute breaks, depending on what work from home job or how you're working from home. You know, you won't have that much, you may not have that much time to do much. But if you got like a flexible, flexible job, like you lit. But at the end of the day, if you have a like Rick and Mortar 40 hours a week, um, like Apple job, you're only going to have a 15 minute break, um, maybe a 30 minute lunch and then another 15 minute break. So you're going to want to make sure that you get good um, snacks and stuff that is very helpful for the kids. That includes things like um, Apple Bites, um, mozzarella, like cheese sticks, you know, like them like kids cheese sticks. Um, Scooby snacks, anything that you need to do, okay? At the end of the day, um, you can go healthy. That's always 100% best, especially if, you know, you know they're going to be eating a good amount of it, you know? So, uh, organic, non-GMO, um, kosher, anything really that is in that lines, under those lines, um... Stay away from a lot of sugary things. I what, what I do is I try their food. You know, if I've never had something before or if I just want to try them on something new, give them a new juice or give them something else, I'll try one myself just to make sure it's okay. Because if I don't like it, my kid's not going to like it. So, ain't no point. Like, you know? And if it's too sugary, like, because they be giving kids the worst stuff. Like, this, they're marketed specifically for kids, but have it way sweeter than the adult stuff. Like, that's weird. Like, I'm not. So, yeah. Just make sure you're paying attention to what we feed in these babies. Because I know we be working and it be a lot and we be tired, but that's important. Because no matter what, you're only working because, you know, the world requires money. And you got kids, too. At the end of the day, if the world didn't require money and you had kids, it would be easier to take care of things. But do what you got to do. Moving on. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, that was pretty much it when it comes to um, work from home jobs um, and working with a toddler. Specifically, because I've made so many work from home tip videos. You know, a lot of it will just be repeated. I don't want to waste you guys' time or mine so definitely go check out those videos if you you feel like um you need a little bit more or if you know um you just want to see exactly some of the other things i've said also check out ar elite um it's amari amarirene.com um as you can see on this screen don't forget to follow me on instagram um add me on tiktok lonelycap777 because i can talk up there for real and yeah so thank you so much for watching the people who also support me thank you so much for supporting me because um i really appreciate it you know um like i always say like i literally like as i'm learning i just want to be able to help somebody else learn too and help me learn put some stuff in the comments talk to me i don't got no friends i'll be lonely um so yeah check it out catch you guys later and don't forget to check out the site um these are some really cute shirts that i actually like myself so definitely check that out thank you so much for watching